Okay, so we're back and welcome again, Bitten. Thank you, Anika. Thank you. We are sort of an institution now, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> My goodness. Feels like we've done this a couple of times now. Yes, we have. We have. And yeah. I really enjoy it. I, it. It's hard work, but I enjoy it. And I know that, that uh, our videos are appreciated. So I, oh, good. I, um, I hope that you can uh, do two more, this one and another one. And then oh, I'll, yeah. I'll let you I go. Promise, I promise that. We're rolling. Yeah. So today we're up for biochemical repair. I think it's um, a thing that you created, kind of. <laughs> can we? Can you tell us about it? What is it? What does um, it? Mean? How do well, I? Well, you know, yeah. Because um, many years ago, I don't remember exactly. Well, beginning of nineties, maybe. <clears throat> I read a book by Jill Matthews Larson. She was a nutritionist in Minnesota. Uh, her, she has a very interesting story about her son uh, committing suicide. Uh, he was in a drug rehab. And she, she understood uh, that, you know, Sorry. that it wasn't, you know, only, uh, you know, the psychological part. We, I mean, we, we, we've been stuck in this psychosocial loop for years, you know. We think this is a psychosocial problem. It's not. It's a physical illness in the brain. If you don't understand that, you will not succeed. So if you don't have knowledge about that, go get it now, I'm telling you, uh, if you want to have a chance to, to recover. Um, so, and that was what helped me when I was in treatment in 1985, that they talked about it as a physical brain illness. You know, that's when I got it. The coin dropped. But anyway, she spoke about, you know, when you do drugs, any drug, pills, street drugs, alcohol, uh, junk food, you know, or, and processed addictions too, uh, you don't give your body and your brain nourishment. No. We, let's say it that way. Uh, so, and the stress of being in obsession with addiction and all that, there are so many factors, you know, uh, in your body that get tilted. It doesn't work. So you could say that your body is very depleted on a lot of things, not only vitamins or minerals or nutrition, uh, you know, the building blocks to everything that's needed in your body to function on all levels physical, psychological, social, and spiritual, you know, which is feeling meaning. Yeah. So anyway, uh, she talked about the biochemical repair and she did the program for alcoholics. <clears throat> and I thought, you know, when I started working with food, there's no difference. It's exactly the same. So I called her and I said, you know, I'm sure that your program will work with food addicts. And she said, of course, you know, same craziness happened in the body. So I started to experiment first on myself and funny enough, I ended up in the emergency room <laughs> because, you know, I didn't read the, the, the fine on the, on the instructions how to do it. So I took a high dose of B3 niacin at that time, <laughs> uh, not knowing that I should take 100 milligrams and I took 500 in the evening before oh. dinner. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I ended up in the emergency room and it was very, very embarrassing because the doctor on call, I knew her and she had sent a client to me. So I was extremely embarrassed sitting there and, you know, but, you know, the, the effect lasted maybe 20 minutes and then it was over. And I learned a lot by doing that. A yeah. lot of things I've learned about this is by doing mistakes. I'm telling you, they have been very good for me. My relapses and all the stupid things I've done, trying foods and all that. Mm. Because, uh, you know, if you're willing to listen uh, to your body, that's actually what biohacking is all about. You know, you try something and you listen and, ooh, no, that doesn't work. Oh, I feel good from this. Mm. So a lot of the, the things that I've learned that I work, that, what, that I teach my uh, professionals today is actually from mistakes I've done. So anyway, I've had a couple of years to do it now. Uh, so anyway, uh, I started to read a lot about it. You know, and that's how I got in touch with integrative functional medicine and orthomolecular medicine, which basically is, if we're going to make it short, uh, how you, you um, uh, heal the body with natural things. Like, you know, everybody knows that if you don't sleep enough, you get sick. Okay. Yeah. 
from sleep can be a fa fantastic healing tool, right? Yeah. You need to move your body, physical activity, you know, you need to have good breathing, you know. So those are all tools. So that's how I started to develop, you know, the biochemical repair. And in the beginning, we were a lot focused on like vitamins and minerals and stuff like that. And the microbiome, the dysbiosis, you know, in your intestine and all that. And we tried a lot of stuff. But the more I learned and the more I looked, I see that you need to be very careful when you do biochemical repair and addicts, which is the only clients I'm interested in. I don't care about other people. They can do whatever they want. But if you're an addict, you are extremely sensitive in everything. Too much of anything will make your body shut down. So, you know, a lot of people think that biochemical repair, oh, give me all the uh, supplements you can. Which supplements should I take for this and that and so forth? And I meet people that go to, you know, nutritionist and integrative functional medicine specialist and they come home and take maybe 25 to 50 pills a day mm. and they feel horrible because that's not going to work it's not going to work whatsoever so when you repair the body you have to use small steps small tools and i tell you what the most important thing and this is what addicts doesn't like to know it's gonna take time oh it <laughs> I know, dear. I know, dear. To me, too. You know, I'm not a very patient person. I want the fix tomorrow. You know, I want to do something good today, and then I want to be all fixed tomorrow. Hmm. So the thing that I learned is, for in order to heal your body and your brain, and your soul and your psyche or whatever, uh, is that you have to do baby steps for a long time. And here, I think a lot of people lose it, you know, because they don't have the patience. But I think another main thing is that they don't understand this. So they don't get the support from professionals, you know, that can teach them and say after one month, well, but look here, you know, your headache is better because the clients say, no, I'm not fixed yet. You know, I'm yeah. feel, I still feel horrible. And then you look at the tests and you say, but look here. You know, your headache was a four, uh, you know, number four. It was horrible four weeks ago. Today it's a one. And then the client said, yeah, you're right. That is better. And so on. You go on with this. So you need to help them focus on, uh, you know, the good things that work, and the things that is good yeah. and not yeah. look at all the things that still is not working mm. slowly, but surely, you know, yeah. this is like sending you know, people to the moon. I mean, we were planning that for years and years in detail. Yeah. And still, I'm telling you that when NASA sent those guys up there, they had to do 90,000 unplanned corrections during the whole trip. Hmm. I mean, this is what we're dealing with. Yeah. So yeah. we are rocket scientists. Exactly. <laughs> <We are. laughs> so uh, I, I take you through the steps of biochemical repair. It's very important because the main thing when you have been in an addiction, active addiction, is that you have no or very fluctuating energy pattern. Yeah. You're drained of energy. And I'm talking energy on a cellular level. I mean, yeah. some days you lose it all. Your brain is not working. Your body doesn't want to be with you. You're exhausted, beyond exhausted. And to tell somebody then, well, you know, it's just to start doing this and that, and, that, and then you're going to this and this and this. So I used to say, it's the start that stops us. You know, yeah. it feels overwhelming. So as a counselor or a coach, you have to understand that it is baby steps. Mm -hmm. And you are not motivated to do this unless you understand the brain illness of addiction. So that's step one learn about the brain illness of addiction, how it affects your body, dare look at the consequences, then you can start rebuilding. So, of course, number one, take away the drug. You know, sugar, flour, processed foods, sweeteners, trigger foods. Uh, people have different trigger foods. One of the most common trigger foods for addicts is milk products, dairy, without butter and ghee is usually okay. But, you know, whipped cream, uh, you know, uh, anything processed, Jeez. oat milk, my God, processed, 
you know, there's a lot of processed foods out there. Uh, they have a label with a lot of stuff in them. Uh, so plain food from plain ingredients. That's what you need. If you don't understand how to do that, uh, take a class, learn from somebody and start cooking your own food and eat clean food. Number one. Yeah. Okay. The next step is breathing. Uh, I have talked about this before that uh, sugar addicts, food addicts, <laughs> are very high strung stressed people, very high stress level. So we over breathe. We overeat, under eat, over exercise, under exercise. I mean, there is no um, calm pattern in us, you know, it's either on or off. Black or uh, white. Uh, pardon me? Black or white, on and off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's very typical. So here, one of the most important thing is to actually read the book Conscious Breathing by Anders Olsson. Uh, it has fantastic research which explains why it is so important to start nose breathing. Tape your mouth at night. Don't stress breathe anymore. Quit that. Start working on, you know, calm, <coughs> quiet breathing. Uh, that's extremely important. So that's number two. Okay. Yep. Number three, sleep. Prioritize, learn things about sleeping, you know, uh, things you need to do in order to improve your sleep uh, because that is the body's best self healing tool. Yep. That's when your body is synchronizing, you know, uh, it's like we were defragging our computers in the old days. That's how old I am. You know, I remember that. Uh, so sleeping is defragging your body, but your body needs sleep. It's very, very important to go to bed early. And there are lots of little tools you can use how to learn how to get a better sleep uh, or talk to somebody that's good at that. Yeah. So that's the next thing. One of the absolutely best detoxes, number two, actually, from you know uh, breathing breathing is incredible that's your body's natural way of detoxing proper breathing mm -hmm. you know that's 60 percent of your whole detoxing during a day whereas sweating is only 30 going to the bathroom number two is only 10 percent mm -hmm. and people pay much more attention about going to the bathroom than how they breathe so yeah switch that so then uh, we have sleeping uh, give the body rest and then we have physical activity and then of course you know being addicts they think oh I have to go to the gym and spend five hours every day in the gym or I have to jog for miles or blah 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 no you should not do that that's dangerous don't start there we're talking nature walks because if you go out in nature nature has you know um, there's so many studies showing that when you're out in nature, you see trees, you see uh, grass, you see all that, even snow in the winter, it has a very healing effect on your body. We're made that way. So mm -hmm. you can read a lot about that on the studies done like that. But it's also increasing oxytocin, which is extremely important for satiety and for feeling relaxed. Oxytocin is the biggest relaxation uh, system in our body. So a lot of people think, oh, I'm so stressed, I need to do yoga. Oh, I'm so stressed, I need to go to this class and learn about this. I need to fight my stress. Uh-uh. Quit fighting. That's the problem. Don't fight. Instead, learn tools how to let your natural oxytocin relaxation system work in your body. That's much better, smarter, you know. <laughs> Uh, save the energy you have. So those are the things. Then, you know, uh, the next step can be, you know, to replenish some of the things that you lost. Uh, it uh, could be very good to, um, you know, take some supplements like electrolytes, you know, magnesium at night. Uh, the best thing if you contact somebody that's good at working with biochemical repair, they can help test you and help you look at what specifics do I need at this point? But if somebody uh, tells you to buy 10 packages of, of different types, you know, they don't know what they're doing. So when you start replenishing some of the 
uh, supplements, you know, maybe three or four at a time. Do that for six weeks and then switch. So the more you pump in, uh, the more it's going to clash in your body. Your body cannot deal with it. Even if it's good things, you know, uh, it needs to take care of everything you put in there. So a few of those supplements, like maybe fish oil could be good, D vitamin in the winter. There are a few things, you know, we could do yeah. to improve nourishing our bodies. Uh, so uh, that's basically what biochemical repair is all about. Do you have any questions? <laughs> 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 no no not one single no it's simple, simple right it, it is simple but i think it's yeah. uh, i mean that when we talk about the biochemical repair a lot of people think it's very advanced and that's that's oh, yeah. one of the reasons why i wanted to do this with you because uh i think the the like you said number one and the most important is to take away the 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 drug and to see the improvement in all areas you can get from eating uh, proper food well, nourishing yeah. food yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, and then the breathing and everything and of course like you said supplements if you need it but uh, i find that if if i only <laughs> do the you know take away the drug learn about breathing and relaxing sleeping you know this stuff the improvement is um, huge you know there are so many yeah. things good yeah. things happening in in only yeah. doing these small things and baby yeah. steps, like you say. Yeah. You know, I have this uh, test um, that people, um, that I let people do. It's called the biomarker. You know, the, you look at uh, all the areas like your ears, your eyes, your stomach, your feelings, you know, your head, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, uh, where you can pick a number, you know, like four, that's severe problems every day. And one is severe problems very seldom and so forth, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know it's interesting to see uh, i uh, when i worked with clients before people fill that in when before they started the detox and they saw you know add up all the first all the areas and then all the numbers and see a number yeah and usually it was like you know 180 or something at that point it was really bad mm -hmm. and then only three weeks of taking away the drug and starting to sleep better and do some of the simple things you know, you can see the numbers going lower. And yeah. then, you know, you can check six weeks and, you know, you can sort of check that on yourself. It's a very good way to see that, wow, I'm improving, you know. Yes, yes. Uh, but of course, you know, nobody can lose um, 100 pounds in three days, although some people want to do that, you know. <laughs> We're very <laughs> impatient people. And I think that's why, what, what a support group actually should do is, you know support in sticking to it yeah. you know the plan when you feel oh i've been on this for four weeks nothing happened i still feel miserable well you know do it just for today mm. that's what support groups should do mm. keep it keep each other on the track yeah that's a good support group you know yeah. because not everybody is drained of energy in the same moment so somebody's always saying well you know there's a lot of gain to do this, so just do it one more day, 24 yeah. hours, no. mm. because the next day you might feel so much better. So yeah, don't and then up. it's the other yeah. way around, then you support the other one. So it's exactly, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, stick to the routine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or stay on the vast. The scenery will change. Is another saying we have. Yeah, that one's good also. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, Britain, for taking me okay. through steps with biochemical repair. Okay. Thank and, you. And uh, we'll meet again. <laughs> yeah, we will. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.